Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today, as promised, it's the PlayStation 2 that I have no idea if it works because it was sold as spares or repairs. Um, it's been sat in quarantine for a couple of days and by that I mean it's sat in a bag because it looks disgusting and I want to make sure there was no bugs or creepy crawlies in it because the controller that came with it is still in a bag. The uh, reason for that is the controller is fucking disgusting so I'm just going to be using my controller assuming this boots up. Right, um, that's really all there is to say about it to be honest. Let's hook it up. So yes, I saw this online um, as a PS2, I think it was £20 with a controller, uh, shipped in the games for uh, yeah, 20 quid. And I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Let's see, if, let's buy it, see if it works. So I bought it, it arrived last week. And as, as I said, I stuck it in a quarantine, basically wrapping it in airtight, wrapping it in bags and making it airtight. So if there's any creepy crawlies living in it, this would, uh, they would die, basically. So I, I didn't want, wasn't going to let them loose in my house. And now it is time to see in what actual state it is, because I have not tried to power this on yet. So, no, let's leave it turned off on there. Let's turn the plugs on. Let's get the TV set to the right inputs. This is going to tell me the controller's dead now, isn't it? Oh. Uh. I want HDMI. Oh, these buttons on the side are fucking useless. Uh, source. We want... For an AV? Probably. And then power on at the back. Power on here. I also have no idea if there's a disc in the drive. It works! Um, what? Uh, is there a disc? And the disc drive ejects. Okay, let me just show you that. Like, it does actually properly eject. And the belt in it actually sounds pretty damn good. Um, one of the games that came with it, SOCOM 2, uh, I already have a copy of this. So I'm just gonna put it in here. So I don't really care if this gets eaten up. This is where I'm going with that. Uh, let's put that in. Let's hook up my controller. Now, I haven't got a um, memory card because I really don't want to hook up my uh, memory card to this because I don't know what it's going to do. Okay, let's see if we've got controllers working. Yeah, I won't find any save data. I also have no idea how good this disc is, so there might be a problem with the disc. I might have to grab a different one if this, uh, if this is going to be a bitch. Uh, do you wish to continue without saving? Yes. So controller's working. Lovely jubbly. Yeah, can I just skip through all of this? Come on. Yeah, I can just do training. All I want to do is... Uh, bat. That's not what I wanted to do. Oh God, I've got the hiccups. Bloody hell. And that's a really bad time for that. Okay, let's just do a new game. See what happens. Because I'm a pussy. Nah, I just haven't played this game before. Um, I have no idea what the differences are. Um, yeah, sure, I'll continue. No. Assuming this all works, I am going to clean up this console and uh, probably sell it on. Make a bit of cash, cash, dollar, dollar. US special opera. Yeah, it's just stuff. Literally, all I want to do is make sure 
the controllers were ported properly to the PS2 and that the PS2 is not going to immediately crash when I start playing games. Yeah, skip. Team. Skip. It Here we go. Commander, you must look. Skip. Oh, what the fuck is All right, this? Team, you heard the lady. Let's lock it up and get moving. Let's not forget that Intel suggests there are multiple patrols along the what main the roadways. We should stick to the to these... avoid alerting them to our presence. What the fuck are these controls? We're heading to the rendezvous. Down to crawl. Um, um, oh, oh, fuck. Oh, I don't fire. Oh, wait. Hey. I just want to point out, I have never played a, a SOCOM game before. I said, picked up that uh, copy that I, think, I think I believe I've shown this on uh, camera. But other than that, that's the closest I've got, so I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. Like um, the point. The informant should be nearby. What is taking this? Can I go in here? Hey, who are you? Oh, Do you have a light? <laughs> I lost my light. I don't smoke. Maybe you'd like a drink instead. Yes. I think I will drink with you. Oh, lucky me. I have found my lighter after all. I was beginning to worry that you were not coming. That I'm okay. going to get the hell out right, of here before the firefight breaks out. Oh, oh, oh. What, will the what will the game do now? Oh, it's gonna work. Anyway, point being, that was simply disappoint the PS2 works. Now I'm gonna cut, we're gonna clean this motherfucker up, and then I'm just gonna do some testing with control port uh, 2 and making sure both uh, memory cards work. So we shall cut to that. So here we go. Um, for cleaning it, I'm gonna go really fucking simple, uh, and that's just gonna be some paper towel. And an absolute metric shit ton of isopropyl alcohol. Because <laughs> this thing is dirty. Oh, sorry, I just dropped the bottle. Whoops. But literally just coat the isopropyl alcohol on. And just grime will just start to come right off of this motherfucker. See, look at, ugh, look at that. This is why people. Always clean your consoles before you send them. Because just look how much that... Gr oh, it's disgusting, man. The amount of grime that's just... Oops. It's just lifted off of this. It's just there. Let me pick it down. It's disgusting. That it can, should clean up. Well, I say quite nice. It should clean up all right. The problem is with these silver PS2s is that they uh, keep them looking clean. It's virtually mm -hmm. fucking impossible. Right, now if you have a look over here, I'm not sure if the light's going to allow it, but there's loads of grime in these like little rivety bit rivets, recessed pieces. So I'm just going to spray some alcohol in there. I'm going to leave it to sit for a second actually, just to work its way into um, all of the grime. 
it's more paper towel. Clean off this bit next to it. A oh, load of alcohol just went on my hands, but it's gonna really dry out my knuckles. That's something else, you really don't wanna leave rubbing alcohol sitting on your skin for too long. It's not gonna do any damage per se, it's just gonna dry out your skin, and that's just not fun. It's when it gets, um, it can like properly dry it out pretty bad. There we go, that's the gunk that was in it. Oh my god, I should have been wearing gloves for this, holy shit. Luckily I haven't touched any of it yet, but oh. It's probably some dog hair, mate. Honestly, because this being a PS2, it's a decent chance at one point this belonged to a smoker. Because they would have had it like, you know, 1999, and especially in the UK. You know, it was only really just coming in then, to, stuff to get people to stop smoking, so a lot of people did. Oh god. Let's get some more in there. I've nearly got it all now. Because then I've got to do this along with rope. And oh boy. That's going to be interesting. There we go, I'm not sure how well that's gonna come up on camera, but that is now pretty clean. Now we're gonna give the same treatment to the front of the console. Being careful, because this is normally a uh, sticker on top of the plastic, and I don't want that to come off. I also don't want too much uh, rubbing alcohol getting erroneously into the console, so I'm spraying it along here, then I'm rubbing along it, and then I'm dragging that clean these areas and it's going to have just a little bit over here just to get rid of any muck there you go that actually bit was quite clean now to do this front bit which is going to be fun again i don't want it falling randomly into the console so i'm just going around a little bits of alcohol and more tissue paper i go through a shit ton of tissue paper oh, especially q-tips as well i go through so many of those because i do i do like my stuff clean in a particular way uh, especially when I'm selling it, because I always think when you sell something, it sort of represents like how you take care of stuff. And I usually, I do take quite good care of my electronics. Hence why my 2013 um, PC build still doing me good in 2022. As you know, I've still got all my old consoles when I was a kid and stuff like that. And uh, it's a bit, it's a bit like how you present yourself, you know, like in a job interview. You know, the way you turn up and the clothes you're wearing, it sort of represents you. I always think that when you're selling stuff on eBay and shit, you know, the way you represent, uh, like the way you take the photos and stuff, it sort of represents a little bit about you. It's always good just to present yourself in the best possible light, especially when you want people to give you money. And yeah, it's bits of alcohol falling down onto this bit, so I'm just going to give this a quick rub. I'm gonna double check, I haven't missed anything too major. Oh, there's some little bits in here. Just trying to get a good look at just my hand there, it's just down here. Yeah, there's some little bits still. It's coming up on camera, just wanna get those. Probably get a Q-tip on that. Now it's time for the back of the PlayStation, which I could do, can tell, it's never been opened, which is good. Uh, there, is, there was no back cover for it. I imagine at some point someone used this for a game that needed it or some shit. Again, I'm not spraying any alcohol on this because that's a sticker. But I don't want it to uh, come off. I'm just going to go across here. And yeah. Overall, I'm just going to give this top bit another run over. Oh, shit, sorry. Oh, there's still... Hmm, I'm going to need something a bit better for that. Just washing off any more rubbing alcohol that's still on me, because I'm going to switch. Right, now I'm not sure if it's coming up on camera, but there's still some gunk on top of it that's not really coming off. So I'm switching tack. I'm going to use some anti-back and a damp cloth. Uh, again, we just want to be careful because we don't want to get any of this on the internal components. So this is barely a damp cloth and I'm just going to 
spread out the anti back first, getting it into recesses. Going as close as I can to the edge without getting, you know, going over. I'm just spreading the anti back in. And right now it smells like apples and it's looking a bajillion times better. Just gonna give it a quick dry. Let's see if that gunk that I was seeing starts to come back. Oh no, that looks so much better. It still is a little bit wet, but that is fine. There we go. That does look a bajillion times better. Still not perfect, but then again, you know, it's gonna be hard to get this back to looking perfect, but tis good enough now, tis good enough. So I'm gonna cut back to the end of this video. So here we are at the end of the video. Um, <laughs> Just to like go over everything that uh, that's happened, um, we've given this, we test this PlayStation 2, giving it a good as clean up as uh, I can do, um, without going excessively long in for something that um, I'm not really. It's a... If I had any use for this PS2, I completely disassemble it and clean it in depth. But got to be honest with you, can't be bothered. Uh, I'm planning just to sell this uh, locally for like 20, 25 quid with. Um, to be honest, no controller, because that other controller, uh, I did try giving it a quick clean over, clean over with some rubbing alcohol. Fuck no. Uh, it's now in a bowl full of hot water that I'm going to add some soap to, <laughs> to hopefully... Bleh. It's uh, it's genuinely disgusting. So I'm not going to be putting that with it, but I'm going to be including a few games, a few of my duplicates, and I'm just going to stick it on the local market. But it does work. Um, it does help if I plug this into player one. So, so, yeah, that's, that's kind of it with this. It's just like, this was a decent little find on eBay. I've managed to flesh out my collection, and hopefully I'll be able to sell this with my duplicates to the price I paid for it. So, all in all, good deal. And I might have an extra third-party controller, possibly, because I'm kind of doing the nuclear option for it. Um... So yeah, I want to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this kind of content, uh, let me know. I'll pick up some more of these sort of like cheap consoles that may or may not work. And um, we'll see where it goes. Once again, I do hope you all enjoyed. And I really do hope to see you all in the next video. Adios.